Yes. Well, Greetings good. from Frozen Dead Guy Days in Nederland, Colorado. We're here at the Black Forest Restaurant and really glad we're inside because it snowed yesterday and unfortunately canceled yesterday's playing of the newly dead game. However, I am very pleased to introduce to all of you Marika McMeans. Yeah. She is the youngest licensed female funeral director in Colorado. Where did you uh, study? Um, I finished schooling at Arapahoe Community College in Littleton and got my mortuary science degree from there and then did my board exam here in Colorado as well. And you work with a firm now? Yes, I work with Carol Wallen Funeral Home in Longmont. And how long have you been doing that? Um, I did my internship there over the summer and then was hired on as a full-fledged director in August. Wow. And how many funerals have you done since then? Um, you know, I haven't kept count, but many, many. <laughs> um, just this year, we've worked with at least uh, 35, 40 families. Wow. wow. What, can you talk about maybe one or two that were particularly outstanding, creative, memorable? Sure. Um, absolutely. I always have um, a connection with my families, and I, I always have an opportunity to become a part of their family, but there are certainly families that, for whatever reason, just stick in my mind and will forever. Um, and one of them, particularly, was a, a family that I just helped out here a few weeks ago um, who were in a neighborhood just across from mine. And, um, I'm sure I will be running into them all the time now that I know who they are, but they were just an incredible family. I walked into the house to go pick up their loved one, the family was all there. There must have been 30, 40 people there to greet me, and, and they helped us um, take their loved one out of the house and before we took them into our care. And, and it was just so humbling to be with a family that was so supportive. They had traveled here from all over the world. Half the family was there from Italy, um, and some of them were there from California, and it was just... It was just amazing to be there, and I was instantly brought in. They invited me over to their home two days later for a party and a dinner, and they kept introducing me all around the room as the coolest funeral director ever, <laughs> and, uh, and telling me stories about their dad, and their dad um, just was quite the man in the community. He lived um, in the mountains for a good time um, with all other men, and they did a uh, art con, uh, and they created this statuary art in the mountains, and uh, just out to change the world and spending four days with them and they changed my life completely. So, oh, that's awesome. I have the greatest job. I get, I get to meet people and spend four days with them and, and feel completely changed and I hope I do the same for them too. So. Do you notice if very many people are pre-planning? Um, yes and no. <laughs> um, I, like, I think it's an incredible thing to do. It doesn't make it come any sooner, but it's uh, easier for you and your family when it gets there. Um, we have a great really plan specialist that works through our facility, um, and he has people in. They, we have people that drop by probably um, every day to do their free planning. Um, it's a good way to do Medicaid spin downs if people have extra money. And, I think it just it makes it easier. So people are starting to learn that, and people are starting to um, be able to talk to it. We're moving out of the death and denying society. We're, we're able to start communicating with our family members and with other funeral directors about what we need. So I think it's becoming um, it's becoming more and more of a thing to do. Well, you know that's what I'm all about is yeah. getting that conversation started. My motto is, just like talking about sex won't make you pregnant, talking about funerals won't make you dead. And your family will benefit from the conversation. Absolutely. So, Marika, thank you so much for yeah. talking to me this afternoon. Thank you. It was really nice to meet you. Live long and prosper. Absolutely. Every day. <laughs>